1954, okay, uh, court case, Brown versus Board of Education. Okay, it was, uh, some call it the start of the modern civil rights movement. Okay, what it was, was this uh, little girl in Kansas, uh, last name of Brown, I can't remember her first name. Okay, she had, uh, there was a white school, I think right across the street, or very close to her house, but she had to have her mother drive her two or three miles to the black, the black school, and uh, their case was, why are we having to drive two or three miles to get to a school when there's one right next to us? Okay, and that was because the schools were segregated. Okay, and uh, uh, court case, uh, Supreme Court case uh, in 1898 called Plessy versus Ferguson uh, put the doctrine down that uh, these black and you know, non-black schools were separate but equal, okay? And uh, this uh, court case here, Brown versus Board of Education, struck that down that doctrine. So uh, what a difference 56 years makes, right? Uh, so uh, Earl Warren was a Chief Justice. Okay, he was the right man at the right time. He had been governor of California, and he had dealt with uh, you know, civil rights uh, as far as Hispanics go, uh, Latinos. And uh, he had uh, noticed that, hey, this is you know, something that should not go on in a country like the United States, which is built on freedom. Okay? And uh, so he had recently just been put in as the Supreme Court Justice, and I, th I think, okay, in my own personal view, because of him, this uh, case got passed. Okay, uh, it had weaknesses, it had limitations. Okay, it did not put a timetable on when this uh, integration had to happen. It just said with all deliberate speed. Um, but uh, the, the big significance is, hey, it set the tone that hey, the Supreme Supreme Court of our land is saying that we need to integrate our schools, which have long been segregated. So that was a huge deal. All right, next. Oh, whoops. Uh, there we go. The other 1950s uh, 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 event here that was major, okay, the Montgomery bus boycott. I hope you've all heard of Rosa Parks. Okay? Uh, she was, she uh, was a civil rights activist before this happened. Okay? She, was, uh, she worked for, if I'm remembering right, the NAACP a National Association for the Advancement of Colored People, which is an organization that is seeking, you know, se seeks rights for color, for African Americans. Okay, so what she did, Montgomery, Alabama, 1955, uh, she uh, refused to give up her seat on the, in the front of the bus to a white man, okay? She was arrested, and then this was what started this Montgomery bus boycott. And the boycott was, African Americans refused to ride the bus, okay, because of the discrimination. It lasted nearly a year, and finally they had their victory, okay, um, and, and the Supreme Court ruling came out uh, against the segregation in public transportation, a public transportation within cities, okay. Uh, there, there was another movement later on called the Freedom Rides in uh, interstate buses, you know, buses that go from state to state. So this was uh, public transportation within cities and uh, interstate stuff that come later. Okay, so this was a galvanizing event in the civil rights movement, okay? It launched, uh, as it says here, a nonviolent Southern crusade for racial justice, okay? And uh, it achieved support around the country, around the world. And Martin Luther King, okay, emerged from this event as one of the main leaders of the civil rights movement. And hopefully, you've all heard of him, right? Okay, good. Okay, cut it for 